Welcome back to Crime Chronicles. Veronica Guerin, an Irish journalist, left a lasting legacy through her fearless pursuit of truth. Her investigative reporting, focused on exposing Dublin's criminal underworld, was marked by bravery and tenacity. Despite facing threats from those she sought to expose, Guerin remained undeterred, standing firm in her commitment to reveal the grim realities of Irish society. Her story continues to inspire journalists today, serving as a powerful reminder of the importance of truth and fearless journalism. Born on July 5, 1958 in Dublin, Ireland, Veronica Guerin was a naturally curious and communicative individual. Initially, she pursued a career in accounting, honing skills that would later be instrumental in her investigative journalism. After several years in accounting, Veronica made a career shift into public relations. This transition allowed her to hone her communication skills and develop a broad network of contacts. It was during this time that she began to develop an interest in journalism, particularly in investigative reporting. In her 30s, Veronica made the bold decision to switch careers once again, this time stepping into the world of journalism. She joined the Sunday Independent, one of Ireland's largest newspapers. It was here that Veronica found her true calling. She began to specialize in crime reporting, a field that allowed her to combine her analytical skills with her passion for uncovering the truth. Veronica Guerin quickly gained recognition for her in-depth, fearless investigative journalism that illuminated the dark corners of Irish society, particularly Dublin's criminal underworld. Despite the risks, her commitment to truth and belief in journalism's transformative power made her a respected figure and a symbol of courage and integrity in Ireland. Guerin was more than a journalist. She was a force risking her life for truth. Veronica Guerin's work as an investigative journalist took her deep into the heart of Dublin's criminal underworld. Veronica's reporting focused on the rise of powerful drug dealers in Dublin, individuals who had amassed significant wealth and influence through their illicit activities. Her articles painted a vivid picture of a city under siege, a society grappling with the devastating effects of drug-related crime. One of Veronica's most notable stories was her expose on the notorious drug dealer John Gilligan. Veronica's relentless pursuit of the truth led her to uncover Gilligan's extensive criminal activities, including his involvement in drug trafficking and organized crime. Her reporting on Gilligan was groundbreaking, revealing the extent of his criminal empire and his role in Dublin's drug crisis. But what set Veronica apart was not just her fearless reporting, but also her unique ability to get information even before the police. She had a knack for cultivating sources within the criminal underworld, individuals who trusted her and were willing to share information. This gave Veronica an edge, allowing her to break stories that were often ahead of official investigations. Veronica's exposés on Dublin's criminal underworld captivated Ireland. Her articles were widely read and discussed, sparking public debate and prompting calls for action but her work also made her a target. She received numerous threats and was subjected to intimidation and violence. Yet Veronica remained undeterred. She continued to report on Dublin's criminal underworld, refusing to be silenced. Through her work, Veronica Guerin shone a light on the dark corners of Irish society, exposing the realities of crime and corruption. Her reporting was a testament to the power of journalism and the importance of truth in the face of adversity. As Veronica Guerin delved deeper into the criminal underworld, her work began to draw the ire of those she was exposing. The threats and attacks she faced were a grim testament to the dangers she was willing to confront in her pursuit of truth. One of the first instances of intimidation occurred in 1994, following her expose on the murder of a crime boss. In a chilling act of intimidation, a gunshot was fired through the window of her cottage near the Dublin airport. The bullet, a stark message from the mobsters she was investigating, narrowly missed Veronica and her family. This incident marked a significant escalation in the threats against her, but Veronica remained undeterred. The threats against Veronica escalated further in January the 1995, following the publication of another in-depth article on Dublin's criminal underworld. In a brazen act of violence, a gunman arrived at her front door with a belated Happy New Year from gangland. The man forced his way into Veronica's home, aimed his gun at her head, and then slowly moved his arm down and shot her in the leg. 
The attack was a brutal reminder of the dangers Veronica faced in her work. She was left collapsed on the floor, injured but alive. Despite the physical and psychological trauma of the attack, Veronica refused to be silenced. She continued her work, even as the threats against her escalated. These attacks on Veronica were not just attempts to silence her, they were attacks on the freedom of the press and the public's right to know. Yet, through it all, Veronica remained steadfast in her commitment to her work. Her courage in the face of such adversity only strengthened her resolve to expose the truth, no matter the cost. The threats and attacks against Veronica Guerin culminated in a tragic event in June 1996 that shook Ireland to its core. Veronica's relentless pursuit of truth had made her a target, and her enemies were closing in. On the morning of June 26, 1996, Veronica was at a courthouse in Naas, just outside of Dublin, dealing with a traffic offense. She was focused on trying to keep her driver's license, unaware that her court appearance had provided her enemies with the perfect opportunity to strike. They now knew exactly where she would be and when. After her court appearance, Veronica left in her red Opal Calibra to drive the 38 kilometers back to the Sunday Independent Newsroom in Dublin. Unbeknownst to her, she was being tailed by her executioners. As Veronica stopped at a red light at the junction of the Nos Dual Carriageway and the Boot Road in Clondalkin, she made a call to a co-worker. They didn't pick up, so she left a voicemail saying, I'm on my way in. Everything's fine. She had just hung up when two men on a motorcycle pulled up alongside her car. The men were dressed in black, their faces hidden behind black helmets. The man on the back of the bike reached into his jacket and pulled out a .357 Magnum revolver. Six shots were fired. The fatal bullet pierced an artery in her arm, causing Veronica to lose consciousness almost immediately. Two nurses who were on their way to work rushed over to help, but it was too late. Veronica Guerin, the fearless journalist who had dedicated her life to exposing Ireland's dark underbelly, was gone. Her assassination marked a dark day in the history of Irish journalism, a stark reminder of the dangers faced by those who dare to speak truth to power. The assassination of Veronica Guerin sent shockwaves through Ireland and beyond. The nation was gripped by a sense of outrage and disbelief. A brave journalist, a mother, a woman who had dared to expose the truth, had been brutally silenced. The public reaction was immediate and intense. Veronica's death became a national obsession, a symbol of the fight against corruption and crime. In the days and weeks following her assassination, thousands of people lined the streets of Dublin to pay their respects. Her funeral was broadcast live on national television, a testament to the profound impact she had made on the nation. Veronica Guerin was posthumously awarded the International Press Freedom Award by the Committee to Protect Journalists, recognition of her courage and commitment to the truth. Veronica Guerin's assassination spurred significant legislative changes in Ireland, leading to a stronger crackdown on organized crime. Her legacy, marked by courage and integrity, serves as a reminder of the power of journalism and the risks journalists face in their pursuit of truth. Guerin's life, given in the quest to expose dark truths, continues to inspire those who dare to speak truth to power.